and we are ready for a mixed doubles up next. A top 40 clash is our next uh, encounter. I'll tell you more in a minute, but as we take a look around, Michelle Lee is uh, doing battle on court two. That's uh, what we've witnessed so far. Busan Onbang Rumfan of Thailand beating uh, Shabrina Jacquet of Switzerland, 21-16, 21-17, just 37 minutes required. We turn our attention then to uh, this top 40 mixed doubles clash, proven uh, Indonesian six seeds. Afis Fezal and Gloria Emmanuel Wijaya, world ranked uh, number eight and uh, sixth seeds here. They wrestle with two talented Indians that need to be respected. Sakwik uh, Siraj Rankiredi and Ashwina Ponapa of India, world ranked uh, 36th. I've been as high as 21 in the world together. Well, that's who they do battle against. And as you can see, Chang and Ng of uh, Hong Kong have come through already against the Kiwi pairing of uh, Ollie Layden Davis and uh, his partner, Miss Pack. On court one. And that was a straight game Mixed win over double. on court two just before Michelle Pack Lee took to court. So here's the introduction Emmanuel of the players. Wajaya. Out comes Gloria Wajaya. Followed by Hafiz Fezal of Indonesia. All clad in red, looking very purposeful. And here come the Indian partnership, led out by this uh, imposing, statuesque, tall uh, Ranky Reddy. And they made. Uh, quarterfinals of the world championships together in the past the Indian team so richly talented have been up to 21 in the world back in December 2018 they'll have their work cut out today and of course India achieved a historic uh, mixed doubles team triumph at the Commonwealth Games 2018 so formalities Undergone. Players ready. Let's listen to the coin toss. So interesting here that uh, the Indonesian pair, they won the toss and they chose to serve, which indicates that they don't think there's any difference in ends and they have no preference and therefore they chose to serve. Afis uh, Fezal, we take a look at him first. 26 years old. Born and bred in Jakarta, 1 meter 70. And uh, his highest ranking, well, just two spots off that at the moment. But they're the Toyota Thailand Open champions of 2018. They saw off the Adcocks in their final back then. And well, more recently in 2020, they were the final uh, finalists of the Thai Masters in January, where they lost to uh, Marcus Ellis and Lawrence Smith, semi finalists of the Malaysian Masters and first round of the Indonesian Masters. As we catch a glimpse of Gloria Emmanuel Wijaya, his partner, 27 years of age, just a year older from Bekasi in Indonesia. And, uh, well, solid team they've become now. There's no doubting that. But these two, well, plenty of firepower. You never quite know what you can expect from this man. He is uh, laden with with uh, power. And uh, currently ranked 36th in the world. He's only 20 years of age. And uh, well, you sense that Ashwini Ponapa kind of gets the best out of him. She's uh, 11 years his senior at 31 years of age. So it doesn't look it very sprightly, agile, in great shape. From uh, Bengaluru in India. So they've uh, contested, uh, they haven't played a World Tour event together. Morton in mixed doubles in over 14 months, the Indians. That's quite something, isn't it? What with injuries and what have you to yeah. thank you ready. Yeah, I think it was very interesting. I, I read in the paper just the other day that uh, Ashwini Panaba, she's uh, going for the Olympics uh, and 
<laughs> maybe not this time, Wait, but even trying to qualify in four years or three years' time. So she She'll is uh, 35, then? She will be 35, possibly, yeah. So that's her aim. She wants to qualify for the next one if she doesn't qualify for Tokyo. Saying hello to the umpire and service judge. I think they have a good chance in uh, in the women's doubles. It's it's quite close. She looks wired, utterly focused. She knows her role. She's got to back up that vast power of her partner. She's got to do it well because Gloria is pretty good in that regard. She's a great front court player. Tall and imposing, lithe, sinewy, quick, but sometimes nervous. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, and when she's getting nervous, uh, a lot of mistakes are creeping in. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sadik Sairaj, Frank Reddy, and Ashwini Punapal, India. And on my left, Gloria Emanuel with Jaja and Hafiz Faisal, Indonesia. Yeah. Gloria Emanuel with Jaja is safe to Sadik Sairaj, Rank Reddy. Love all. Play. Service over. One, love. Keenly on to that, Frankie ready. Same is over. Two, one. And that's why left. Three, one. The engine combination is having the luxury of uh, Frankie ready can go to the net uh, because uh, Tonapa is also very, very strong from the back of the court. Four, She's got a very one. good smash for a, a female athlete and is, is attacking well from the back line. So, you know, you, they have that option where they can suddenly turn it around and she's uh, attacking from the back and he's staying at the front, which is making it very, very hard to anticipate now again, what's going to happen. Two, four, and as you very rightly said, they had a wonderful run at the uh, World Championship in 2018 where they got to the uh, quarter-final and on the way they beat uh, Lammers Fuss and Hertrich of Germany and Gosun uh, Huat and Shiwon Lai of uh, Malaysia on the way. And, uh, Five, those pairs, they two. were seven and uh, 15 on the world ranking at the time. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, oh, superb at the front court, wasn't she? Electric speed onto that. Yeah, she made it very simple. Good block shot. You can do that when you get it as early Six, as that. Two. Well, the Indians have really come out firing here. Oh. Keeping the pressure on the seeded pairing here in red who look a little Ooh. anxious eyes sort of darting everywhere it's been an edgy start from them with five points adrift already cheeky finding the space really well they're very alert Two. Well, he 
twins that blistering power, Nine. and then he turns Ooh. the dial right down and takes all the pace off that one. Yeah, no doubt the Indonesian players are very scared of the big smash, and of course they're they're backing a bit on court, and of course opening up on at the front of the court, and well spotted by Ranky Reddy. But we've spoken a lot about the Indian pair, and I think we have to mention as well that in July 2019 at the Japan there Open. The uh, two Three, Indonesians, they nine. beat the world number ones, the Seng Siwei and Huang Yachong, in uh, the quarterfinal of that Japan Open, which is a wonderful result for the two Indonesian players. Yeah, they really haven't looked back from that. They took so much confidence from that and also that runner-up showing in the German Open in the same year. And then after that came four semi-final showings. But uh, you're right, that's the big one, wasn't it? It was. 750 event. Four, nine. But they're trying to engineer some kind of platform to work from here but it's a tough ask at the moment the Indians are really very alert well, the Indonesians do lead the head-to-head, -head, but it was a long time ago now. Yeah, they were three really years ago. Counted in. No, Hong Kong That's Open, it. straight game win, but too yeah. long ago, right? I mean, this, then Ranky really would have been 17 exactly. years ago. Exactly, that was my point. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Ten. Well, the six seeds from Indonesia under siege out here. 5-11 adrift at the turn. They've got the work to do. Morton, is it just me or do these two just have a little bit of sort of team flexibility in terms of their positions on court? Like you say, they rotate really effectively but with Panapa good on the back court as well. At the moment, it, um, I think they are dictating the pace. They do control the match, but I, of course, expect the Five. Indonesian combination to, to fight back. And uh, let's see what uh, Nova Vidianto, the coach from uh, Indonesia, said to the players. And he himself won the Six. World Championship gold Eleven. in 2005 and 2007. Wow. Good man to have in your corner. Yeah. Absolutely. It'll be interesting to see whether Ranky Reddy can uh, sort of play a whole season without getting injured. I remember when he had that sternum issue back in, uh, what was it, uh, end of year finals? Uh, yeah, I, I can't remember when it was, but he, he is injury prone. He's very, very no. explosive. And uh, players like that uh, tend to get uh, having more injuries. Didn't he go to a water park or something like that? And sort of I managed to hurt his remember. rib, I think it was. Can't remember. He's a boisterous little fella. Big fella, I should say. Oh, good interception there from uh, Ashvini. Very unlucky she didn't finish that one. If you look at it from the point of India. You know, I love watching her because she's always so positive. The gestures are good. She's always looking for the high five. And then the sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, these days. Perhaps I have some players and gloves on. Oh. Oh, blistering power to secure that rally. Hey, you tore a chunk out of the shuttle there. Take it over. 
But have Courtney you noticed how quick a change of shuttle is due to these uh, new inventions? Uh, beside, uh, yeah, yeah, they're uh, very good, the they? Court. Yeah, they introduced them at the uh, Denmark Open in October, oh, yeah. and it, it really worked well. Mm. It was uh, speeding up the game quite dramatically. But the umpire still has the call on it, right? Uh, yes, of mm. course they have. Mm. But uh, the mere fact that you know you can go and, mm. and have the shuttle straight away and just change it and 15, go on with the next seven. is uh, a very nice little invention. Mm, I like it. Did you patent them, the uh, dispensers? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm sure it's, it's here to stay. I'm quite sure. More and more contraptions coming onto court, aren't there? The thing on the left of the net post as well, the uh, service Eight. to aid the service 15. judge in uh, assessing the height of serving contact there, you can see. Hey, He's such wingspan, hasn't he? It's goal. tough to get it past him at the net. 16, eight. Well, so far, the world number 36 is uh, doing very, very well against the world number eights. Seven stop. Nine, sixteen. Well, they're playing some really clever badminton, the Indians, aren't Nine. they? They're sort of defending their court nicely and very fluid together. And also they've had a, a run of five consecutive points uh, earlier in the game. Yeah, but poorly played by Vijaya. That shot is uh, really having no direction and way too loose. Easily put away by uh, Ranky Reddy. Again, defending their court well, the Indians there. 18. Nine. The Indonesians struggling to dent them at the moment. Yeah, they've not really been able to dominate uh, Vijaya, Gloria Vijaya. The net has not been able to dominate the net and uh, getting lift for her partner, and that's why they're struggling. 19. Nine. And this is way beyond the Indonesian pair, this opening game. So it will be interesting to see what happens in the second, whether they come up with uh, more fire from the beginning. Hello. Oh, a swing and a miss. You don't get many of them. Obviously lost it in the lights. Stop. 10, well, he was smiling earlier when he crushed that smash and uh, tore the shuttle almost apart. And he's smiling here in sort of embarrassment, really. Rarely happens, but uh, completely lost his way. Hoping nobody noticed. <laughs> oh. Second over. 20. Game point. Well, it's been a lopsided ten. game so far. The Indians all over this one. They've now got 10 game points. Oh. Save it over. 11, 20. Game Ranky Reddy Five and Ponapa then with a very dictatorial opening Ponapa. game. They secure it 21, 21 points to 11, 11 after 13 minutes of play. Thank you. 
So the players back to court then for more action. Always takes a little while to settle into a first tournament back for a while. And the Indonesians certainly uh, Love on. are up against it here. Play. Trailing by a game to zero. Here we are, the start of game two. Panapa to serve. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's better from uh, Faisal. That's for sure. That we hardly saw in the Maybe in the goal. opening game at all. One lock. Starting with a stink. That's what they need. That's a nice flick serve from Gloria. Long. It takes a lot of courage to flick serve against uh, a, a male player hitting as hard as uh, Ranky Reddy is, but that was really courageous. That was good play by uh, Gujaya. Well, she's trying to get involved Three. in the uh, front court Long. there, but just got a little tangled. It's a much more proactive start from the Indonesians. The intent is there. Can the Indians hold them, keep them at arm's length? Oh. Oh. Gloria was calling, it was going. Uh, Hafiz uh, elected One, to play it. Three. Well, it's clearly to see that. Um, Faisal and uh, Vijaya are really opting the pace. They, they are much more proactive now. They are much more aggressive. I know they didn't win the rally, but uh, it's very clear to see that they are much, much more into it. They are keen on injecting a lot more pace and power. Brilliant from Panapa. The body blow. And the hand Two, of apology. Three. She's a lovely, warm person. I've shared some airport time with her. She's really, really pleasant. But she'll take no prisoners. We've seen a few swings and misses, haven't we, Morton? What do you put that down to? Three. Yeah, oh. uh, miss timings. We see quite a few miss timings, not uh, only a swing and a miss, but we see a lot of uh, miss timings uh, from the players. And I think it takes a little bit of time for them to settle down on court. And uh, of course, I know we mentioned it a few times already, but uh, 10 months of uh, no tournaments, of course, also playing a part here. That's a good flick serve. Four, five, four, three. 
Well, she's pleased with that one. The ultimate in disguise. Holden flick. Yes. Beautifully played. Five. Three. And players with the less technical skills would have opted for a cross court shot on that one. But look at the way that Racky Reddy played that one down the line. Excellent play. Ten it over. Four. Five. Lovely calm composure around the net from Gloria Six, Wijaya there. Five. Seven, oh! Yeah, good play by Faisal. Seven, five. Interesting how. Uh, Ranky Reddy moved up alongside uh, his partner on, on the backhand side and of course that opened up completely to the deep forehand at the back of the court. But just the way that they played it was that sheer anticipation and hoping for the shot to come Ten and of course being able to play Six, it early. Seven. Well, it's a much more competitive start to game two, that's for sure. Seven. Oh. Oh, that's good play. Well, defensive, good defensive Seven. shot from Mashwini. Textbook mixed doubles. A raucous cry of delight after this point as the Indians crash rackets. They're all okay from Afis Fezal. He was delighted with that, trying to get inside the minds of the Indians a little here as well. This is crucial. Nine, eight. Seeds hitting with much more conviction now. Ah, that was a bis uh, big miss from uh, Faisal there. Really a good opportunity. And it's interesting that the Indonesia, Indonesian combination, you know, with Vijaya at the net, she really needs to stamp her authority Nine. on it. When you play oh. such a traditional mixed doubles as those two are playing, that means that she's got to dominate the net a lot to secure lots of lift and attacking opportunities for her partner. You sense she's trying to sort of probe forward, okay. but at the moment Nine. there was a little hesitancy there, wasn't there? Almost backing away here.
Set it off. Turn off. Again, there brave to flick serve, 11, Reiki ready. And, uh, he took advantage, as did uh, Ashwini Ponapa. And it is again, as it was in game one, the Indians that head to the front at the mid-game interval. 11 points to 10. Eleven, ten. Play. Under pressure, the six seeds in the mixed doubles event here, having lost the opener, and in a very tight duel in game two here. Not a lot in it. Gone. Just squirting over the back line. 12, 10. On court three, men's single. Kula Wood Mitisan from Thailand. Versus Louis Enrique Penelwe from Spain. Robertus Tommy Oscariano from Indonesia. Service judge. Hamid Amin Mira from Iran. 11, 12. Safely down the centre of the court, not taking any chances at all. himself quite enough can he at the moment he knows it he's chuntering away to himself in discontent yeah safely down the line Thank you, Tom. 12 14 but one of the weaknesses from, uh, if you look at the Indonesian player, is that Tbijaya at the net, despite that she is very alert at the net, she's too easy to pass 
on cross shots, meaning that she's she's usually only covering one side, and if you know what side she's covering, there's a big gap to the opposite side. And if you just keep controlling that, you can guide it into the open area, and then you control it and get the lifts from uh, doing so. Yeah, they certainly have exploited the uh, odd slender hole on the court, these two in yellow. And there's another fine example there, a leave from Gloria. But as you see, once again, the engine combination is uh, very often playing side by side and moving forward. Yeah, well played by Gloria. Very steep. Good play. Quick towel down there for uh, Ashwina Parapa. A two-point lead for the Indians here. Can they hold on and see this one off? That'll go down as a, 14, a mistake for Panapa there. She had a gaping open court. She didn't have much time. And here it was a fine example of uh, for now, but at the back here, good attacking skills. And then we saw Rangi Reddy here at the front of the court, which we ve very seldom see from the Indo Indonesian combination. And that's clever smashing from uh, Faisal going straight down at Aranki Reddy rather than going cross court is uh, a very, very clever play because you can see he's moving towards the centre of the court trying to cover his partner then of course opening up to his forehand side and that was well spotted by Faisal. been successful on those uh, service 17, returns. 15. Uh, Shivini done it on a few occasions now, playing that uh, mid-court area between the two players. Well, this time, Hafiz Fezal goes for his towel after this point. There's a few roars from him. He's really getting into this and upping the intensity. He has to because he's running out of time. Six seeds are under siege. They've got work to do. Still only one point in it this game, though. They've still time to turn it around. Will another flick serve come? Mm. I'm quite interested. Yeah. That's a nice surf, really good low surf from that Gloria Vijaya. That's it. Whoa! That's way in. Yeah. Good lift from Faisal. Very steady. Oh. Nervous leave from Ashwini there. Taking a chance. But we could see it all the way from up here that that one was staying in. Eight, 
what a lovely twin Ranky Reddy unloading with both barrels and uh, Ashwini Ponapa at the net there just tidying up with lovely little block Thank you. they twin nicely together don't they and again they break to the front Albeit a slender one point lead now. Have they got what it takes to see off the sixth 18. seed in this mixed doubles event? 17. Yeah, they're definitely better than what their ranking suggests. The 36 on, on their world ranking, that's for sure. But it is interesting that uh, Ranky Reddy is, is one of the few players playing two categories. So he's playing the men's doubles and the mixed doubles. And often we see after he has played men's doubles, his mixed doubles is really suffering in, in terms of his sort of ability to maintain his physical strength on court. 18, 19, Hafiz, is okay? Please. Play. So far, the mixed doubles has always uh, played the second fiddle for Rangi Reddy. Good leave from Fezal there. 90. Oh. Come on. It's suddenly become a very, very tight second game. Who's going to blink first? Twenty. Game point. Nineteen. Blink. Blink. The Indian stalling for time, wanting the shuttle changed, not having their way. It's going to be Fezal with a game point opportunity to draw level here. Oh, what a miss. What a lucky break for the Indians there. The net getting in the way. Oh, wow. Couldn't be any tighter. The little squeal of, del of delight from Ashwini there. I think at one stage she thought she might be wearing that smash from Fizzle. <laughs> Super play from Panapa around the front court there. So alert. Such great hand skills. That was tight. So suddenly a match point, having fended off a game point against themselves. They're now in the driving seat again. Can they convert 20. here and oust the six seeds in the mixed doubles? Well placed. Seven really uh, 21. benefiting from the doubt between the two players from India down the centre of the court. Who's going to take it? Look at that. They're both looking at one another. That was well placed by Vijaya and very crucial time.
that was a good opportunity. First time that Dashwini is uh, missing that one, but a very crucial time. Suddenly under pressure, the tall Gloria Wajaya really raises the bar and brings her best. She'll need to again here. So it's a game point opportunity to draw level. A second Eight. game point opportunity for the Indonesians. And that was almost a clear Ready, not to smash that one from Maranki Reddy. Of course, oh. it was an intended smash, but uh, it was mistiming that quite a bit. And look at that. I thought it was going, Morton. Yeah, long. yeah, it was going going long on the back line, but uh, it stayed in mm. and ended up being a really good shot. <laughs> a deadlock again <laughs> in game two. What next? <laughs> Brilliant again from Wajaya. She's alert at the business end of this second game. She's got that still-eyed gaze of a woman on a mission. Third game point opportunity for the Indonesians. Yeah, I think it's coming now. I sort of sense that uh, this can be the a turning point in the match. That's well placed. Thank you, Tobin. 23 off. Brilliant from Ranky Reddy in the front court. 24. He was a bit lucky on that one because that shot there from uh, Vijaya was clipping the top of the tape and despite that, he managed to control it or get out of trouble. So the momentum swings again in favour of the Indians and it's a second match point opportunity for them. Denied again. Seven thousand. Twenty-four all. Oh. But there is no point for Ranky Reddy to be at the front of the court if he's not more decisive. At the moment, he's been blocking and blocking and blocking. If he's at the net, he must be more decisive. Twenty-five, Fourth game point opportunity for the six seeds. Best rally of the match. Brilliant. Goes in favour of the Indians. What Thanks a terrific off. point. Absolutely. More. 25 all. Deadlock again. Yeah. Will we get to 29 all? Yeah. Who knows? Incredible. No. Winning their best, both no. teams. They've been at some really compelling points of late. Fresh shuttle ripped out of the dispenser by uh, Ashwini, who just wants to get on with things. Can they cross the line? Only time will tell. Not if these guys have their way. Hi. Two match points have come and gone for the Indians. Four game points for the Indonesians. Hey. Hey. No. 
semitone. 26, 25. That was a no-nonsense smash. Yeah, but still exploiting the fact that uh, Ashwini is better attacking than defending. Well, a of game points have come and gone. Off. And the Indians are playing nerveless badminton right now. On court two, men's single, Jonathan ah! Christie from Indonesia. Hey! Hey! No! She had it on her racket Versus right there. Goal. Big no opportunity, plenty of space on the court. 26. Couldn't clear the net. It engineered the point so beautifully here. Look at that. I was just snatching out of the middle. Mansure Jashen from Iran. Service judge. Sixth game Fabio point from for Fez Alan Wajaya. <laughs> no! When he gets involved overhead. You've got to retreat. It's that simple. Yeah, but you still have to sort of look at it. He's got such a big smash, but look at how many or how few winners he's actually been able to hit from his uh, attacking situations. It's just a, a fact of the uh, show, a fact that uh, the shuttles are slow. It's slow conditions. They say, I'm not saying the shuttles are slow, but it's slow conditions here in the hall for the time being. It's tough to kill points. It is. Hey. Brilliant from Gloria Wajaya. She's at it again, over. causing havoc 28, with the Indians and breathing a big sigh of relief after securing that point. That was tidy. Body language tells its own story there, doesn't it? Seventh game point. Coaches both locked in focus, as are the players, of course. Can they do it this time? Give themselves a lifeline. And that's wide. Game. And they can indeed. 29 27 in favour of Fezal and Wijaya. So we're going down the home straight. We're going to be treated to a third and deciding game. What a compelling badminton match this has been. Don't go anywhere. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. 
Well, she's going to have to flush that last game from their minds and press the reset button, these two. They've had too much points come and go. And, uh, well, they detain the Indonesians in what was a very long 29-27 game. But now here we are at the start of game number three. Long wall. So tough to Play. pick a winner in this intriguing mixed doubles first round. Six. Same song. One love. A really great response from the Indians coming out with a two love lead here early in game three just to set the tempo again and put themselves in a position of command. Same story. One, two. Big burly game he has this young 20 year old. Oh, that's a good flick, sir. Too high. Oh, Rafa gets away with that one. <laughs> Four, two. Sure, she is smiling inside at least. Yeah. <laughs> she knows that she was completely caught. Oh. Just to follow up a little bit on uh, Five, our. Two. Previous uh, women's singles where Busan and Umbang Rumpan uh, won against Sabrina Shagke, and we said that they were going to play the winner of um, Sina Naval and Ekisona of uh, Malaysia. And I can just see that uh, Sina Naval has given walkover in that match. So uh, it will be Busan and Umbang Rumpan against uh, Kisona from uh, Malaysia in that second round. So I wonder why, but we will know later on. Yeah, she was sort of protesting. There were murmurs from Sina Newell, you know, in, 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 on the media platforms, weren't there? She wasn't very happy with the fact that they, you know, they couldn't practice much, I think it was, and just a little frustrated with the whole quarantine issue, you sense. Or it might simply have been an injury. You just don't know, do you? Nope. Seven, two. Never know. We will know a little bit later. It's yeah, just uh, yeah. we'll come some out the wash. extra facts for you uh, viewers. Yeah, great. Well done. Good research. You don't miss a trick. Sometimes. I can assure you. <laughs> nah, good play there from Faisal. Good cross court smash. Have to exploit Three, the fact that Ashwini seven. is not that strong in her defense. Ready, just getting onto that in a blur of speed at the net. Eight, three. Look at that, reading the play so nicely. Shot from uh, Vijaya. Oh! 
See, that's Super. what I expect from Ranky Reddy when he's at the net. At that uh, situation where they extended the second game, um, he was blocking a little bit too much, blocking and blocking, playing too safe. What I wanted to see was exactly what he did here, being more decisive at the net, score the points. And uh, maybe the pressure was... Uh, you know, getting to him a little bit too much in the end of that second game. And do you think, Morton, that'll come with age as well? He's still oh, only yes. a young man, isn't he? It comes with experience. Uh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. So it's a quick towel down time whilst the court attendant is on, mopping up Thank a few you. drops of sweat. Yeah, but the uh, Thailand organisers really have to commend it on this. They have designated Mopos and uh, not losing the linesmen and all that and they are very very quick on court doing the mopping and then out again really uh, you know making sure there's no time wasting on it yeah the whole uh, application what with cleansing everything has been absolutely superb and you can only pray credit to uh, the bwf and the Bampton association of thailand for getting this so well organized Nine. the government involved as Three. well just been terrific Three. And that's also why the uh, the breaks between the matches are a little bit longer because they, they need to sanitise the courts between the matches and that's why you maybe have noticed that the, the break is a little bit longer. Four, nine, eleven, ten, break. Five, nine. Ashwini Panapa just trying to up the intensity. Just feels that it's obviously slipped a little, needing to raise the bar. Doesn't want to let the Indonesians back in again, as they did in game two ever so slightly. Could Ranky Reddy have killed that point earlier? No. I think so, but yeah, he had the opportunity. But it was more a 50-50 one this time. Yeah, yeah. The Indonesians alert in defence there. Yeah, but look at the attack again, going down the line on Ashwini, and once again penetrating that defence. Brilliant. All over that again. A five point Eleven, lead for these six. two from Eight India. Ball. World number Eight. 36 pairing. Have a generous 11 6 lead in game three. They're at it again. Got the momentum. Can they hold on? Yeah, I must say, I think it's, it's quite surprising that uh, the Indian combination came out that well to the third and final game after having lost that second game so narrowly. Eleven six. No expense spared, the organisers, administrators, BWF, BAT, keen to see this all unfold to capacity, despite life outside the bubble, of course. It's a preview, these three tournaments, to the real starting of the 2021 tournament calendar, which, of course, we're in an Olympic year, so even more Play. important. Let's hope it doesn't get ravaged again. 
Things looking good here, particularly for the Indian duo. here after the interval is extremely important for both combinations of course Indonesians wants to close the gap and uh, vice versa so this uh, stage of the match is absolutely crucial Same dog. seven twelve Went down the right side, narrowly missing. Eight, twelve. Sort of plays in fits and starts, doesn't he? Right. Suddenly there's a rush, a flurry of sort of points from the Indians. They're richly talented. So too the Indonesians, but you just sense that the Indians have that little bit more about Nine, their attack, 12. more consistency in it. But the gap seems to be closing a little. Two points in a row for the team in red. Come on, come on. Ten, thirteen. Well, they've won four out of the last five. This is going to be a tight affair, isn't it? Mm, it's getting tight. Uh, yeah, two in a row for the Indonesians. Had such a good cushion, the Indian combination at the mid-game interval, and suddenly it's just two points. Yeah, they were 12-6 up at one stage. Hey. Given all the water that's gone under the bridge already, that'll make them tense, you'd imagine. It must be so easy, Morton, particularly in doubles, to kind of overpress when you, you see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's so easy to force. It is. It is. I agree with you. She's done you such see. a good job of managing managing him, hasn't she? You know, as well as herself. It's it's tough. Yeah, she seems to be the captain of the uh, partnership. But, of course, with her vast experience, that's only natural. Four in a row then for the Indonesians. They're fighting back as well as they did in game two. Making a real fist of this, showing a lot of character, the six seeds. That's what sport's all about, Morton, isn't it? Dealing with hardship. Yep. Take the pressure. Scoreboard parity once again. 
Yeah, work with what you can change and uh, disregard what you can't change. Seven Well, a cricketer would have been proud of that catch. Fifteen, well played from Ranky Reddy using all of his subtle skills there. Good athletic prowess around the net as well. Look at that. Important response from the Indian combination, 13 all, and then taking the last three points, 16-13. It's a good response to uh, being caught up. Yeah, there's been a lot of questions asked mentally, haven't there, of the Indians by the Indonesians, you know, constantly nipping at their heels and teasing them almost. That's wide. When they break away, it's Seven not for goal. long. 14, They're normally pegged back 16. pretty quickly by the six seeds. But she's doing a great job in keeping them upbeat and trying to head towards the sun. Wow, there's some intensity in that point. What a treat that was. 17, Point engaging all four of them fully. Terrific to watch. Panapa having the last laugh around her net attacks. Hit the red carpet. <laughs> well, runs of three points of commonality between these two teams, but uh, can the Indians just really keep the pressure on here, or will the Indonesians wriggle out of jail as they did in game two? Yeah, string gun. Seven 
Well, we've been uh, on court now for approaching 70 minutes, but it's been a really compelling watch. There's two points away, the Indians. Can they get it done? If only I had money for every time I've said that in this match. They had <laughs> <laughs> too much points in the second game, of course, didn't they? They were denied by some Indonesian brilliance, but they also saved six game points against themselves. Ranky Reddy taking his time, almost wanting scoreboard pressure to seep into the minds of the team in red. We're in front and I'm dragging a lead. I'm going to play at my pace. Still work to do for these two. Another string gone, but this time he was more lucky. This time he scored the point, last time he lost it. Yeah, the price you pay for buckling power. Kick quick to uh, cut the string bed out as well, not to uh, buckle the frame. It'll be a third racket for Ranky Reddy. I'm sure he's got uh, an abundance of them in his kit bag. Those two will be marched off to the stringers, pretty prompto, you'd imagine. Gloria. Yeah, they're working hard, the stringers, at these tournaments. Can't remember how many hundreds and hundreds of rackets they do over one week. I always like the, the, st the stat at the end of the tournament on sort of the miles of string used. <laughs> and which country you could get to from here with that. <laughs> so, four match points for Ranky Reddy and Panapa. There it is, another squeal of delight for Ashwini Ponapa and a gracious uh, celebration from <laughs> Ranky Reddy as well. They got there in the end. 21 16 in the deciding game. An hour and 11 minutes was required in a very tense mixed doubles. But uh, delight etched all over the faces of the Indians. Smiles all round for them. They're through to round two. It'll be Chang and mm, of Hong Kong next up for the Indians. And I'm sure we'll get confirmation of the score. There it is, 21-16 in the deciding game. Ranky Reddy and Panapa safely through to round two. Downing the six seeds from Indonesia. <laughs> Something good. You want to play the mask, right? No, 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 no. It's tasty, it's tasty.
against uh, Singaporean. But the hall 